Eight years ago, my wife Ava was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. The doctor said that she could go blind or even end up in a wheelchair. Well, today, my wife is happy and healthy. And if you ask her, she'll tell you she's never felt better in her entire life. My name is Doug, and in this short presentation, I'm going to share with you how my wife used this ancient healing remedy to combat her autoimmune disease naturally. How could someone that was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease and it was told there was no cure for them end up healthier than before? And what does the Bible and the teachings of Jesus have to do with it? I have to warn you, this information is not going to be for everyone. Dr. Kimberly Langdon, MD, says, this is a resource that everyone should read. It provides a useful framework for healing based on the teachings in the Bible. The author's insights and careful research are well shared, easy to understand, and may drastically improve your health or that of a loved one. And Dr. Tara Michelle says, utilizing natural healing tools as taught by Jesus, this is a story of one man's grace-filled transformation from a state disease and illness to one of authentic health and well-being. It is without hesitation that I personally and professionally recommend this exceptional story as one that is guaranteed to both delight and inspire you to embark on your own journey to exquisite health. In-depth and yet accessible, this is an absolute must-read for everyone embarking on the natural healing path. If you or someone you love is tired of feeling sick and fatigued, frustrated, spending endless amounts of money on doctor's visits and medications, or if you just want to be as healthy as you can, then you're going to want to watch and listen very closely until the end of this video. It all started one gloomy day when the doctor told us the bad news. My wife held on to me for dear life as I held my breath in fear. The image of her half-eaten brain will forever haunt my dreams. The doctor wore a look of total hopelessness as she turned to me and said, there's nothing we can do. My wife rocked back and forth, chanting her childhood prayers with sheer terror on her pale face. Could she go blind, I asked the doctor. It's possible, she said. Could she end up in a wheelchair paralyzed, I asked. It may be likely, the doctor told me sadly. I didn't want to believe her, but when I looked at the MRI scan of my wife's brain on the doctor's computer screen, I knew our lives would never be the same. This was the day my wife was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. We were terrified. I felt like I would suffocate. The doctor put both her hands on my shoulders trying to calm me down, but I couldn't shake the fact that both sides of my wife's brain were covered in piercing white lesions. These lesions turned out to be the beginning of the autoimmune disease multiple sclerosis, or MS for short. These lesions were spreading across her brain, trying to destroy the parts of my wife that controlled her motor function, her speech, her ability to think, the parts of her that made her who she was. I started seeing this tough woman wither away to almost nothing right before my eyes, all because of this unstoppable brain-eating disease. Worst of all, there was nothing I could do about it. No one could even tell us how this happened. My wife had never taken drugs, had exercised her whole life, and had always had a positive outlook. Her body had always been exceptionally strong, and she had always been a reliable wife, daughter, friend, co-worker, and employee. Now, all that would suddenly change, and no one could give us a reason. The doctor told us that this could happen to anyone. Over a million people across the globe, without warning, have been diagnosed with this very same brain-eating disease. There are plenty more people who don't even realize they have it yet. Still, we felt so alone. Sitting there in the hospital room, it was like the earth stopped spinning. I thought our lives would fall apart. My wife ended up trying every drug and therapy the doctors recommended, nearly exhausting our savings and racking up a mile-long insurance bill. To our disappointment, nothing worked. Each drug came with a list of side effects that were almost as bad as the disease itself, and every therapy would leave her feeling just as bad, if not worse, than before. Despite state-of-the-art drug therapy and medical attention, she kept getting worse. We searched and searched for new options, but she almost gave up hope as the months dragged on. Each time she took another brain scan, more vital parts of her brain were covered with lesions. The side effects from the drugs made her every waking moment a nightmare, and her quality of life deteriorated more and more. She would forget important things. She would lose her balance and fall. She couldn't work. She couldn't travel. She couldn't have fun. She couldn't do anything without worrying what would happen to her body and mind next. That's when I started asking real questions. I spent countless hours at the library reading dozens of medical books. I looked up all the top doctors and scientists. I contacted as many as I could. 
asking if there was any possible way my wife's condition could improve. They all said it was unlikely. I asked them why she had to continue taking expensive drugs that made her feel worse. They told me it was because there were no other options. Then I asked how a healthy person with no medical history could fall horribly ill so suddenly and without cause. None of the doctors could answer. I met other patients with my wife's condition and most felt as lost as we did. Some of them had had success slowing down the decline, but every time they thought they were better, they'd suddenly get worse out of nowhere. So I took my wife to leading medical facilities, including the Mayo Clinic and Cleveland Clinic. Despite all our hard work and research, every doctor we went to, every patient we spoke to, and every therapy we tried left us more confused and desperate than we were to start with. It was mentally and emotionally exhausting for the both of us. My wife began losing faith. We just kept pitting dead ends, but I refused to give up. Little did I know that I was about to accidentally discover some life-changing secrets that would one day soon change thousands of people's lives. My wife's disease met its match when I came across ancient secrets hidden inside the Bible. After years of helplessly watching my wife suffer, the answer shocked me. It was right under our noses the whole time. We quickly began using these secrets for the damage done to her brain. How I found these life-changing secrets and what they are will surprise you. Keep watching to the end as I tell you exactly what they are and how they can change your life. Since I discovered these health secrets in the Bible, my wife has changed into a healthy, strong, and vibrant woman again. And we are living an amazing life. A life that was almost completely destroyed by her autoimmune disease. Now, I have to tell you that my wife and I are people of faith. We believe that whatever happens can be used for good and that everything happens for a reason. This faith got my wife through her illness and eventually helped her feel a lot better. Now, I believe that the Bible holds the keys to living a good life, so it was no surprise to me when I found the keys to my wife's health inside the Bible, too. At first, I'll admit that I was a bit skeptical. There was no way that a few simple changes could undo the year of pain and sorrow that she'd gone through. If there was a way for her to get better, wouldn't the doctors have heard about it? Of course. God, the creator of everything, had my wife's health under control. But why couldn't God just heal her instantly? My wife's faith was hanging by a thread and we had run out of options. So by the time we found these divine secrets, we knew that God led us to them and simply wanted us to exercise our faith and use them. At first, I thought I'd gone completely crazy until the secrets I found actually worked. The shocking truth is that millions of people suffer from autoimmune diseases every day. It's estimated that about 8% of people in the United States suffer from autoimmune disease. One in 12 women and up to one in 20 men will fall ill of an autoimmune disease, according to the National Institutes of Health, NIH. They report that 23.5 million people in the U.S. have some type of autoimmune disease. According to the American Autoimmune Related Disease Association, that number is more likely double, and about 50 million people in this country suffer from an autoimmune condition. Why? Is it because NIH statistics only include 24 conditions for which epidemiology studies are available? Research shows that that number seems to be increasing, and no one knows why. What's scary is that not everyone who has an autoimmune disease realizes it until it has already gotten worse. Autoimmune disease can cause nasty symptoms like fatigue, brain fog, chronic pain, headaches, unwanted weight gain or weight loss, indigestion, memory loss, skin problems, depression, anxiety, stress, and more. The most common autoimmune diseases are Graves' disease, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, lupus, type 1 diabetes, MS, and rheumatoid arthritis. The prevalence of autoimmune diseases varies, ranging from five people per 100,000 to more than 500 people per 100,000, depending on the condition. For instance, rheumatoid arthritis, a disease where your body begins attacking your own bones, and lupus, where your immune system begins attacking your organs, are more prevalent than uveitis, which attacks your eyes and your vision. Autoimmune diseases can affect any part of the body, including the joints, brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, eyes, blood vessels, digestive tract, among other tissues. At this point, the exact cause of autoimmune diseases is unknown, preventing scientists from finding adequate treatments that could cure them. This explains why current treatment options are directed toward management of autoimmune diseases instead of actually curing them. 
So, what does the Bible have to do with autoimmune diseases? I'll tell you. The answer might shock you because it's so simple. The Bible carries disease-fighting recipes and is packed full of powerful healing ingredients. This information is not new. All throughout history, people have used these recipes to destroy disease. The truth is that these simple but powerful ingredients are things we see every single day. In fact, we see them every time we go to the grocery store. It's no surprise that God didn't create drugs. He provided us with life-giving solutions from the beginning of time. All we have to do is open our eyes. Why aren't these nourishing ingredients talked about? If they're so miraculous, why doesn't everyone know about them already? The answer will make you sick to your stomach. To date, between 80 and 100 autoimmune diseases have been identified. It is estimated that there are at least 40 other diseases with autoimmune characteristics. The annual direct healthcare costs for autoimmune diseases are about $100 billion, while cancer alone costs about $57 billion. Patients who are diagnosed with autoimmune disease are usually prescribed anti-inflammatory medications and immunosuppressants, which are associated with a host of side effects and tend to work only for a limited time. Then, the doctor has to prescribe other medications and the same scenario happens again. Vicious cycle. The thing is, the natural, biblical remedies I'm about to tell you about hardly cost a thing. While Big Pharma makes billions of dollars each year selling people all kinds of drugs. Don't take my word for it. Just turn on the television and watch a few commercials to see my point. You can't watch 15 minutes of TV without seeing an ad for a prescription drug. Many of these drugs are expensive, addictive, and some have life-threatening side effects, including death. According to the U.S. National Library of Medicine, one of those common immunosuppressants, tacrolimus, can give a person a higher risk of infection, higher risk of certain cancers, diabetes, high blood pressure, nervous system disorder, kidney problems, anemia, weight gain, seizures, bloody urine, and even a hole in the stomach or bowels. In 2015 alone, the $395 billion U.S. pharmaceutical industry spent $5.2 billion on advertising prescription drugs directly to consumers. Think that doctors are beyond corruption? Think again. It is actually legal in the United States for drug companies to pay doctors in incentives to help them promote their drugs. In 2016, a ProPublica analysis found that doctors who receive payments from the medical industry do indeed prescribe drugs differently, on average, than their colleagues who don't. And the more money they receive, the more brand name medications they tend to prescribe. You don't have to go far to see the damage this corrupt system has caused. Countless people are ill, being told their diseases are incurable and being prescribed and sold promising drugs that can make them settle for their disease and that might possibly even make them sicker altogether. Countless people looking for relief end up addicted to prescriptions and even end up turning to recreational drugs once their prescription isn't strong enough. Why do you think homelessness has skyrocketed? Look at the opioid crisis. These things can affect anyone, including you and your closest loved ones, whether they tell you or not. Human greed created these major problems, so it makes sense that only God, in his goodness, can be enough for us. That's why he gave us such precious, sacred information in the Bible, so that his people can better take care of themselves. When I first began following the healing secrets God revealed to me in his word, I didn't think that they'd actually work. We talked to the best doctors in the country without finding anything that gave us hope. Thankfully, God gave us the strength and motivation to trust him and to try anyway. The first week, we noticed nothing out of the ordinary. The second week, we noticed little improvements, but they were hardly worth mentioning when it came to all of my wife's symptoms. By the third week, she started feeling more like herself and thinking about her symptoms a little less. Then, on the fourth week, we really started seeing a change. She lost some of the fat that was collecting around her belly. Her complexion looked clearer and brighter. She felt happier and more energetic. She experienced less pain and disorientation. From then on, her fat started melting away so fast, our friends and family started noticing and asking us what voodoo we were doing to make her look so good. Best of all, her mind started working faster and she was able to go back to work. Her extreme fatigue disappeared and she was able to spend more time outdoors and with the people she loved. Her appetite became more balanced. She was able to finally sleep through the night. 
to my relief, she finally felt happy. It's crazy that after suffering for so long without hope, battling stress, depression, and even thoughts of suicide, that the solution was so simple. But I didn't just come here to tell you about our success. I want to help you too. That's why I spent my life savings to get this information out to you. Unfortunately, I couldn't just run through the streets yelling out this revolutionary biblical breakthrough no matter how much I wanted to. I know that if this information helps just one person like it helped my wife, it'll be worth everything I've invested. If you or a loved one are done feeling terrible, struggling to get out of bed every morning, crippled by the weight of medical bills, and overwhelmed by the physical, emotional, and financial burdens that come with autoimmune disease, listen closely. I'm about to tell you all about these groundbreaking biblical ingredients and what they are. As I searched the Bible for healing information, I found two simple verses that changed the game for us. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat, and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to every thing that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. Genesis 1, 29 to 30. And, and the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth, and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Genesis 9, 2 to 3. So, according to the Bible, we humans were meant to consume a simple diet of meat, fish, fruit, veggies, and herbs. I took things further and went online, searching for evidence to back up my findings. It turned out that these verses actually aligned with scientific research. According to a study published in Metabolism in 2012, a high fiber diet could reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and colon cancer. Another study in Public Health Nutrition from 2001 showed that this type of diet reduced the risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes. In a two-year randomized trial of a Paleolithic type diet such as this one, the diet was shown to help obese postmenopausal women lose weight. In 2007, Diabetiology published a study where, on a diet like this, 29 men with heart disease and elevated blood sugars or type 2 diabetes saw greater improvement in waist circumference and glycemic control compared to the control group. In a study published in 2015 by the journal Nutrients found that gliadin, a class of protein found in wheat and other cereals, increased gut permeability in all individuals, which would tell me that a grain-free diet alone could help incredibly. A study published in Cardiovascular Diabetiology in 2009 showed that this diet caused more weight loss and several improvements in cardiovascular risk factors in individuals with type 2 diabetes. In 2013, the Journal of Internal Medicine published a study that showed that a similar diet helped women lower their blood pressure, total cholesterol, and triglycerides in only five weeks. Taking these verses and research articles to heart, I figured that the best things for my wife to eat would be fruit, vegetables, meat, fish, and herbs. Having her eat fruit, veggies, meat, and fish would be easy, I thought, but what about herbs? What kind of herbs should we use? Were all herbs okay or just some? I searched online to find out if the Bible said anything about herbs and I was shocked to find that the Bible not only mentions herbs but talks about them a lot. The herbs I found especially fascinating were turmeric, flaxseed, garlic, frankincense, and myrrh. Turmeric is said to be the modern day saffron listed in Song of Solomon 4, 13 to 14. Your plants are an orchard of pomegranates with choice fruits with nard and saffron. According to the Journal of Natural Science, Biology, and Medicine, curcumin, the main active ingredient in turmeric, is anti-inflammatory, an antioxidant, antimicrobial, can protect the liver, an immunostimulant, antiseptic, antimutagenic, and useful as medicine. According to the Alternative Medicine Review Journal, based on early cell culture and animal research, clinical trials indicate curcumin may have potential as a therapeutic agent in diseases such as inflammatory bowel disease, pancreatitis, arthritis, and chronic anterior uveitis, as well as certain types of cancer. Curcumin is the main component of turmeric. The study went on to say that curcumin matches the effectiveness 
of some anti-inflammatory drugs. According to the Journal of Biological Chemistry and the journal Melanoma Research, curcumin blocks NFKB, a molecule that travels into the nuclei of cells and turns on genes related to inflammation. NFKB is believed to play a major role in many chronic diseases. Flaxseed, another herb I found in the Bible, has also been shown to fight inflammation. It was used to make linen, as it's referred to in the Bible. Leviticus 6.10 says, the priest then put on her linen clothes with linen undergarments next to her body. According to the American Journal of Physiology, the Canadian Journal of Cardiology, and the Journal of Food Science and Technology, animal studies have shown that the high content of ALA, an essential fatty acid found in flaxseed, prevented cholesterol from being deposited in the blood vessels of the heart, reduced inflammation in the arteries, and reduced tumor growth. A Costa Rican study published in the journal Circulation involving 3,638 people found that those who ate more ALA had a lower risk of heart attack than those who consumed less ALA. Also, a large review of 27 studies published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition involving more than 250,000 people found that ALA was linked to a 14% lower risk of heart disease. Numerous studies published by Biomed Research International, Bioshimi, and PLOS1 have also linked ALA to a lower risk of stroke. Garlic is the next herb on the list. Numbers 11.5 says, we remember the fish we ate in Egypt at no cost, also the garlic. Garlic is said to be a natural antibiotic that has been used for intestinal parasites, cancer, colds, flus, diabetes, and infections. One large 12-week study published in Advances in Therapy found that a daily garlic supplement reduced the number of colds by 63% compared to a placebo. According to studies published by Molecular and Cellular Biochemistry, garlic supplementation has a significant impact on reducing blood pressure in people with high blood pressure. In a study published by the Pakistan Journal of Pharmaceutical Sciences, doses of aged garlic extract were just as effective as the drug atenolol at reducing blood pressure over a 24-week period. According to the Journal of the Royal College of Physicians in London, Annals of Internal Medicine and Nutrition Reviews for those with high cholesterol, garlic supplementation appears to reduce total and or LDL cholesterol by about 10 to 15%. According to the Journal of Nutrition, the combined effects on reducing cholesterol and blood pressure, as well as the antioxidant properties, may help prevent common brain diseases like Alzheimer's disease and dementia. According to the publication Phytotherapy Research, rodent studies have shown that it can minimize bone loss by increasing estrogen in females. According to the Indian Journal of Physiology and Pharmacology, subjects with heart disease that took garlic oil for six weeks had a reduction in peak heart rate of 12% and improved their exercise capacity. Given all these studies, it's safe to say that garlic could help you live longer. Frankincense and myrrh have disease-fighting properties as well. They are the same herbs given to Jesus at his birth, Matthew 2, 11. According to the book Reference Guide for Essential Oils by Connie and Alan Higley, monoterpenes found in frankincense can help prevent and discharge toxins from your liver and kidneys and have antiseptic, antibacterial, pain-relieving, and expectorant properties. Boswellic acid, a terpenoid compound found in frankincense, mimics the action of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like aspirin and ibuprofen. According to BMC Complementary and Alternative Medicine, frankincense oil may represent an alternative therapy for bladder cancer and might represent a new therapeutic option on pancreatic cancer treatment in human patients. A study published by OA Alternative Medicine also found that it possesses anti-cancer properties. It says in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology that frankincense could promote antioxidant, antiplatelet, and anticoagulant activities, which can help fight disease and blood clots. But there's more. A study published by Scientific Reports suggested that combined frankincense and myrrh exerted a significant protective effect against HPV and shows promise as a future therapy for rheumatoid arthritis. They also said that frankincense and myrrh are highly effective in the treatment of inflammatory diseases. Oncology Letters published an article showing that specific components of myrrh and frankincense essential oils are capable of inducing cancer cell apoptosis. So, it turned out that the Bible was right. 
In order to understand why these biblical secrets work so well, you must understand how autoimmunity works. The root of disease is inflammation. Basically, inflammation is the body's effort to protect itself. That is, it is the body's immune response. A certain level of inflammation is good for you because it helps your body heal and it is an important factor of innate immunity. Although important for immunity, inflammation can also pose a threat to your body. Generally, we can divide it into two types, acute inflammation and chronic inflammation. Acute inflammation starts rapidly and quickly becomes more severe. Health conditions associated with acute inflammation include a sore throat, acute bronchitis, and acute tonsillitis. Chronic inflammation results from failure to eliminate the cause of inflammation and is linked with autoimmune diseases. The acquired or adaptive immune system develops as a person grows opposed to the innate immunity. Innate immunity refers to nonspecific defense mechanisms that activate immediately or within hours of an antigen's appearance within the body. When an immune-compromised person consumes food, he or she may or may not be sensitive to, the body can inflame in an effort to protect itself. Autoimmune diseases occur when the immune system cannot differentiate between healthy tissue and a foreign invader any longer. While a healthy immune system would only attack harmful organisms like viruses and bacteria within our system, the immune system of someone with autoimmunity can attack everything in the system, including the system itself. Oftentimes, it attacks the central nervous system and the gut, inhibiting daily life and functions. Leaky gut has also been linked to autoimmunity and inflammation. It's when the gut becomes permeable, in most cases due to allergens, medications, viruses, or bacteria, and allows food debris and anything else the body absorbs to leak into the bloodstream. This is why sometimes it doesn't matter whether your diet is healthy or not. An autoimmune diet, like the biblical diet, removes trigger foods and replaces them with foods that can be beneficial. If diet consciousness is delayed, it could mean a host of issues such as disease progression and autoimmune reactions. We now know that God intended us to use food and herbs to potentially control the autoimmune diseases. So, do you want to heal your gut, reduce inflammation, and once and for all, get rid of nasty symptoms like fatigue, brain fog, chronic pain, headaches, being overweight, indigestion, memory loss, skin problems, depression, anxiety, stress, and autoimmunity? Follow an autoimmune safe diet by eating organic meat, fruit, vegetables, and herbs. God knew that these things could be the key to avoiding inflammation. And anytime we humans stray from our God-given path, we suffer. The huge amount of patients battling disease in this country is living proof of that. It is a time that we turn back to God and to the lifestyles he intended for us to live. I traded my wife's autoimmune disease using this ancient information, but that's not all. Now I'm spending the rest of my life to share this valuable information with other people who are suffering. After years of trial and error and helping countless friends, family, and clients with this information, I've put together a book entitled The Autoimmune Bible. All of the information that saved my wife's life and more is included in this easy to follow step-by-step -step guide. This is an absolute game changer for anyone struggling with an autoimmune disease. And if you download the Autoimmune Bible right now, you'll have 60 days to decide whether you like it or not. And you can get all your money back immediately, no questions asked, if you're unsatisfied for any reason. That's my guarantee to you. The best part is that all of this powerful healing information is completely natural without any harmful side effects and more affordable than harmful prescriptions. You could feel more like yourself in no time. In fact, you may feel better than you've ever felt, like my wife does now. Many people have already used this protocol to get better. Here are a few letters I received from doctors all over the country after reading the Autoimmune Bible. Dr. Tara Michelle writes, utilizing natural healing tools as taught by Jesus, the Autoimmune Bible is a story of one woman's grace-filled transformation from a state of disease and illness to one of authentic health and well-being. It is without hesitation that I personally and professionally recommend this exceptional story as one that is guaranteed to both delight and inspire you to embark on your own journey to exquisite health. In-depth and yet accessible, the Autoimmune Bible is an absolute must-read for everyone embarking on the natural healing path. 
Dr. Kimberly Langdon, MD, says that whether you are a believer or not, suffering from an illness or not, the autoimmune Bible is a resource that everyone should read. I often told my patients when I was in practice that I believed that everything we needed to heal was already present on this earth. We just have to find it. It is well established that antioxidants are everywhere and are crucial for preventing and fighting diseases. The Autoimmune Bible provides a useful framework for healing based on the teachings in the Bible. The author's insights and careful research are well written, easy to read, and might drastically improve your health or that of a loved one. Those are just a few of the reviews that I've received. And since I really do care about trying to help as many people as I possibly can with this information, if you download the Autoimmune Bible right now, I will give you three additional books absolutely free. Let me explain more. The first book that I will give to you for free is called The Grocery Store Guide. This book comes with comprehensive lists of foods approved by the Autoimmune Bible to make it easier to shop health consciously. The guide includes lists of our autoimmune protocol safe meat, fish, fruit, vegetables, herbs, and seasonings. One of the hardest parts of my wife's recovery was trying to find the right foods to eat. This guide will show you exactly what you can buy and eat. The next book that I will give to you for free with no strings attached is called The Prayer Guide. This book is a helpful resource that can help ease the spiritual and emotional challenges of those facing autoimmunity. It is filled with encouraging Bible verses and prayers meant to improve the reader's outlook on life and general mental well-being and to fill his or her journey to health with faith and joy. The third book that I'm giving away for no charge is called The Seven Day Recipe Guide. This book is for those ready to take their health to the next level. It is packed with great recipes to use throughout the week to help you sculpt a mindset for a healthier diet. Each recipe calls for nutrient-rich and delicious ingredients for autoimmune-safe meals that you and your loved ones will love. So that's four books for the price of one. It's time to stop suffering. We went through it so that you don't have to. Download the Autoimmune Bible now. This system can work for you like it worked for my wife. Even if you're healthy now, there's no guarantee you won't develop autoimmunity if you don't do something to prevent it. Western civilization has little or no idea about the healing mysteries in the Bible. It seems like our culture is built on working yourself to death, microwave dinners and monstrous medical bills. The autoimmune Bible can transform your life as it has so many others. Download your copy now. It's time to live your life to the fullest. Think of it as an investment for your health. If you do nothing, there's the possibility that you'll only deteriorate and have to pay out of the nose in medical bills in the long run don't have health, you have nothing. The National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Diseases has estimated that the cost of treating autoimmune disease in the U.S. is greater than $100 billion annually, a figure that the AARDA reports is likely a vast understatement of the true costs of autoimmune disease as the annual costs of only seven of the 100 plus known autoimmune diseases, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, systemic lupus, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, and scleroderma are estimated through epidemiological studies to total from $51.8 to $70.6 billion annually. The reality is that if you're sick, eventually someone else will have to pay the bills for you. No one wants that burden. You could always have insurance cover drugs, but that may not be enough. Some of these drug sellers don't actually care about helping you. Think about all the side effects of pharmaceutical drugs some of which are available over the counter. Some drugs will literally cost you an arm and a leg and leave you worse off than before. I'm offering you the healing wisdom of God for only $47, and it's worth far more. The only reason I charge anything at all is because it has cost me years of time, money, and work to put this information together and keep it online for you and to see and benefit from. It's worth it. Think about it. Using these biblical breakthroughs for your health could save you thousands in the long run. Download the Autoimmune Bible now. You can try it risk-free. I'm giving you a 100% 60-day money-back guarantee. If you are dissatisfied for any reason at all, you can get all of your money back. So, you get to test out this biblical and proven information completely for free if you are unsatisfied at all. Download your ebook now. It's easy, just click below. You can walk away and be content with mediocrity 
wasting money on things that aren't really helping you, but I hope you understand that you are playing with your health. According to the American Autoimmune Related Diseases Association, approximately 50 million Americans, 20% of the population, or one in five people, suffer from incurable autoimmune diseases. Women are more likely than men to be affected. Some estimates say that 75% of those affected, some 30 million people, are women. It doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, old, young, a man, a woman, black or white. If you don't take charge, you could end up in a casket sooner than you're meant to, or worse, in the hospital as a vegetable, being taken care of, unable to live your life. No one should forget their dreams of the future and have their life destroyed by a disease. Take action while you have a chance. You can start doing something about your autoimmunity today. Download your copy of the Autoimmune Bible now. This Bible-based, clinically proven information can have you feeling better in only 30 days, and the trial period is 60 days. You have double the time to get better than people who have used the Autoimmune Bible before you, and it only costs you $47. If you still have questions, let me answer them for you. I'll go over the most frequently asked questions that we receive. Question one, can this work? Yes, the ancient biblical secrets contained in the Autoimmune Bible have been clinically proven. There have been countless studies and success stories, some of which I've shared with you that prove it can work for you. Besides the studies I've already shared with you, there are dozens more, some of which are contained in the ebook you're about to download. In addition, you don't have to look far to see studies published in renowned medical and scientific magazines. And if you're unsatisfied at any time within 60 days of your purchase, you can simply return it and get a full refund. Question two. Will the autoimmune Bible work for me? We're all human and we're all wired similarly. The autoimmune Bible has helped many people already and the same ancient information contained inside of it has been used by sick people for millennia. Question three, can I get my money back if I'm not satisfied? If you don't like it for any reason over the next 60 days, you can get every cent back with no questions asked. That's my promise, but you won't have to because I'm confident this will help you. I've seen skeptics, myself included, turned into believers right before my eyes, using the natural, proven formulas and methods found in the Autoimmune Bible. I'm offering you mountains of God-given wisdom, organized in an affordable, easy-to-use book, not the man-made, chemical, nasty, fake stuff being shoved down your throat. Get exclusive access to the Autoimmune Bible now, along with the three additional books that I'll give you for free. And if you act now, I'll include even more. If you download right now, I will give you three more books for free. These are three of the newest books that I've just finished. Since I just finished these books, I'll give them to you for free as a sign of appreciation. This is a one-time offer and won't be available forever. So, not only will you receive the Autoimmune Bible, you'll be receiving my new books, How to Reduce Inflammation, How to Improve Digestion, and How to Get Eight Hours of Sleep along with my other three books, The Prayer Guide, The Recipe Guide, and The Grocery Guide, all for free. I will give you the entire autoimmune Bible protocol for only $47. That's over 90% off the retail value. You will be receiving six free books. So that's a total of seven books that can help you get better. I can't explain how happy it makes me to help people through these tough times. So I will do anything I can to help. Don't delay. Go ahead and download the Autoimmune Bible now. It's time to start feeling better. It's time to trust God and let him help you. I'm Doug, and I treated my wife's MS using the Autoimmune Bible. Thank you for watching. I have faith that the Autoimmune Bible will find the person who needs it most. I can't wait to hear your story.